Welcome Dear Friends. They released a song that became a worldwide hit and made them super famous. Incredibly, they all made money with their music. Their song was used in one of the best 80s movies. But did you know that behind this movie classic there were two strange deaths, or that the famous singer rejected singing for the movie? Or that a medication could cause suicide, and it actually did? Find out all about it and more with this review of the Top Gun movie and its great song, Take My Breath Away, by the band Berlin. In 1986, Top Gun, one of the most successful and remembered films of the 80s, was released in the United States. Not only did its love story and impressive flight scenes mark a generation, but the project also featured one of the most famous soundtracks in movie history. The soundtrack included great songs such as Mighty Wings by Cheap Trick, Danger Zone by Kenny Loggins, and the powerful romantic ballad Take My Breath Away by the American group Berlin. The film was known in some countries as Top Gun, Passion and Glory, in others as Reto La Gloria or Idolos Del Air, and was directed by the British Tony Scott, brother of the legendary film director Ridley Scott, responsible for historic films such as Alien, Blade Runner, and Gladiator. Undoubtedly, the Scott brothers were very talented. The main character of the story is the rebellious aviator Maverick, played by Tom Cruise, who competes with other outstanding pilots to win first place at the Miramar, California Combat Weapons School, a demanding institution that trains the best pilots for the United States Navy and is known by aviators as Top Gun. During his training, Maverick begins a romance with one of the flight instructors, Charlie Blackbutt, played by actress Kelly McGillis, and establishes a rivalry with one of the pilots nicknamed Iceman, played by Val Kilmer. The film had a great impact for several reasons. First, it featured spectacular aerial scenes never before seen in cinema, which were performed by talented certified pilots with the support of the U.S. Navy. Another aspect that contributed to its success was that the movie had one of the most remembered soundtracks in the history of cinema. The soundtrack consisted of ten songs, and although all of them were excellent and everyone will have their favorites, two of them stood out among the others. For the flight and combat scenes, the unforgettable theme was Danger Zone, performed by Kenny Loggins. For the romantic scenes, the powerful ballad Take My Breath Away by Berlin stood out. As a curiosity, the song, Danger Zone, was originally written for Canadian Brian Adams to sing, but he refused to lend his voice to a movie that glorified war, so the job went to Kenny Loggins. Let us know in the comments what your favorite song from this movie is and where you are following us from. Another curious detail is that the producers wanted to include the song, Breaking the Law, by the British heavy metal band Judas Priest in the soundtrack, but they refused for two reasons. First, they thought the movie would be a total failure, and second, they claimed that doing so would have meant eliminating the song from their next album titled Turbo. Perhaps analyzing what would happen shortly thereafter with the band Berlin, Judas Priest's decision was the right one. In the case of the song, Take My Breath Away, it was written specifically for the movie by the legendary Giorgio Moroder in collaboration with award-winning musicians and composers. In 1979, a band led by a beautiful singer was formed, named Berlin. As a curiosity, this musical group had absolutely nothing to do with Germany and chose that name so people would believe they were Europeans and appear more exotic. The band had a complicated start with the arrival and departure of several members, and by the time of the film, they had released three albums and had moderate success with songs like The Metro, Sex, and No More Words. However, the fame and popularity of Berlin skyrocketed after the release of the film Top Gun and the song Take My Breath Away. <laughs> Take my breath away. 
became known almost worldwide, reaching number one in dozens of countries, including the USA, UK, Canada, Belgium, Ireland, and the Netherlands. Additionally, the song received the Oscar for Best Original Song and the Golden Globe in 1987. To take advantage of the success, Columbia Records released an album with the music from the movie, which sold millions of copies worldwide, generating astronomical profits for the record label and music producers. However, there was a serious problem for the band Berlin. They also released an album titled, Count Three and Pray, their fourth album, which also included the famous song, Take My Breath Away. However, people did not buy this album, but instead, they preferred to buy the movie soundtrack, an excellent selection of songs. So, despite becoming very famous, the economic gains they obtained were almost nil, as 90% of the profits from the sales of the soundtrack went to the producers and record label. After the failure of their latest album, internal discussions began within the group about the direction to follow, and in the end, they could not agree on fundamental issues, so the band decided to split up. It was not until 15 years later, in 2002, that the singer, Terry Nunn, reorganized the band Berlin with new members and released a couple of albums, but they could not repeat the success achieved during the 80s. Top Gun also helped to catapult Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer to stardom. The rivalry between them in the movie was more than fiction, as the actors clashed from the start, and outside of filming, they exchanged very few words. The movie was a resounding success at the box office, with a budget of $15 million and grossing over $350 million. The film also proved to be successful for the US Navy and Air Force, as it increased the recruitment of pilots by 500%, according to a report sent by the. The reality is that more than one person, even in Latin American countries, wanted to become a pilot after watching the movie. If you were one of them, leave us a comment. Unfortunately, not everything was good behind the movie, as during filming, the flight pilot and cameraman, Art Scholl, died in a plane crash. After executing a dangerous maneuver, he lost control of the plane and crashed at high speed into the sea. The plane and the pilot's body were never recovered, and a note was placed in his honor at the end of the credits. Another black mark in the history of Top Gun is that several years later, in 2012, the movie's director, Tony Scott, committed suicide by jumping off a bridge in Los Angeles. This tragic event surprised his family since although some media reported that Tony had cancer, his family has emphatically denied it, and he also had no financial problems. The most serious thing is that the autopsy results found that the director had levels of several medications in his blood used to sleep and as tranquilizers but which, nowadays, are known to produce suicidal thoughts. The second part of the successful 80s movie is titled Top Games Maverick, and although it was originally scheduled to be released in July 2019, due to the emergence of the coronavirus, the project suffered several delays. Finally, it was completed and released in May 2022, 36 years after the first movie. Tom Cruise reprised his role as Maverick, and a vast majority of those who have seen the movie claim that the flight scenes are truly incredible and impressive, including state-of-the-art military planes. Even his famous enemy Iceman, played by Val Kilmer, had a brief appearance. However, the actress Kelly McGillis, who played Maverick's love interest Charlie Blackwood in the original version, was definitively left out of the film. This situation caused a stir, as many claim that she was not called due to her physical appearance, and the current photos of the actress make it difficult for many to recognize her as the beautiful flight instructor from the 80s. 
The actress herself has said that the matter was straightforward, and she was not called because she was old and fat, and looked like a woman her age. Some agree with her, but others have pointed out that many women her age are in better shape, and have reminded her that Tom Cruise is 59 years old, and Val Kilmer is 62. It is undoubtedly a delicate issue, and what do you think about it? Let us know in the comments. The fantastic music that was made in the 80s is very difficult to match with current music. The producers of the new movie tried to create a soundtrack that was at the level of the first one, and although this is very challenging, the truth is that the main song of the film, which is performed by Lady Gaga entitled, Hold My Hand, Hold my hand, everything will be okay, you don't need to show In conclusion, Top Games Maverick is a movie that many have been waiting for, and it did not disappoint. The flight scenes are breathtaking, and Tom Cruise still manages to portray the character of Maverick flawlessly. The movie is a great addition to the original and is a must-see for fans of the first one. The story of Berlin is a fascinating one, and the band's final chapter was certainly full of ups and downs. After experiencing great success in the 1980s with hits like Take My Breath Away and The Metro, the band went through a series of lineup changes and struggled to maintain their popularity in the following decades. Despite these challenges, Berlin has continued to perform and record new music, and they remain a beloved band among their fans. The band's final chapter may not have been as glamorous as their early years, but it is a testament to their enduring passion for music and their commitment to their craft. So, what do you think about this classic movie? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the content, remember to share it with your friends and please, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon with another video. Bye. Watch it slow.